Okay, so if you remember, my, <clears throat> excuse me, my image had, the guy in the, in the image was wearing a necklace. Um, so we're going to go ahead and work on his necklace now. For those of you who have jewelry or earrings or things like that in your pictures, it's the same technique as tracing the rest of your facial features. Just think of it as a shape, not as a necklace. Um, so I'm going to hide the neck so I can see his necklace. Now, you don't have to go crazy and trace every single one of these beads. If you wanted to, you could, but you don't need to. Um, so what I'm going to do is use my pen tool again, and we're going to go ahead and begin tracing. Now with this, I'm going to trace all of the dark areas and fill them in with color. Now if you notice mine, my stuff filled with color, uh, that's because my colors here were not set before I started tracing. Um, and then I'm just going to keep going. Trace, trace. So you can go that route or you could just simply trace this all as one shape. So we'll make his necklace all one color. And if you want, you can try and get into the, all the little nooks and crannies in here. Um, it would make it look a little bit more realistic, have a little bit more detail to it. But for the sake of time, I'm going to see if I can go a little faster around here. And remember, you want to click, hold, drag, click, hold, drag to pull out your handlebars. There are very few moments that you don't click, hold, drag to pull out your handlebars. And I'm just going to move my windows over. Uh, because you want a curved line. A curved line always makes it look better. There's more detail to it. So click, hold, drag, click, hold, drag. And something like this for the necklace, there really is no straight lines. So you don't want to make them have straight lines. So you can always go back and convert a line if you didn't pull the handlebars out, but you might as well do it from the beginning so that way it's less work for you. Okay? So now that we've got our necklace, uh, if you look over here at our layers palette, it ended up going into our face layer. So what I want to do is just move that layer to our neck layer because it's part of the neck, right? Because it's laying on the neck. So just click and drag that into the neck layer and we're going to name that layer necklace. There we go. Okay, so we're going to name that layer necklace, and then we're going to fill it with a color. Now in this case, I'm just going to choose a color for it, so I'm going to choose light orange, just because I think it'll look cool. Um, maybe I'll choose a darker color orange um, for his necklace. And so there we go. We've started our cartoon. So now it looks like it is getting uh, a little bit more detailed. So now we're going to move on to the body. Okay, so let's come back over here and check out all of our layers. Notice everything is labeled. You know, periodically as you go through, I want you to make sure that you're going into your layers and making sure everything's organized and where it needs to be. So why don't you go ahead and do a file save um, or a control S. Um, and then we're going to come back and we're going to do some sweatshirts and t-shirts and clothing.